uh hello everybody uh good morning to all uh i welcome you all on this auspicious uh, occasion of the opening of the jpg ieee it society summer school 2022 uh this series of summer school was started by joint telematics group to cover contemporary research topics in signal processing telecommunications and networking for students and young researchers uh, from all over india Uh, when i attended bit the bits uh, seminar uh, co organized at tifr and iit bombay in 2020 i pitched this idea to host this uh, summer school at iit mandi and uh, i was very fortunate that i got overwhelming support from the community members from iit uh, from iit community uh, i am thankful to professor adrish banerji professor andrew thangaraj uh, professor vikas kumar day professor um, navin kashyap uh, professor sri krishna bashyam and professor ram sundaresan and professor vinod prabhakaran for their support and advice uh, throughout this journey uh, originally this summer school was planned in 2021 but uh, the summer school 2020 was postponed due to covid for one year and so this one was then postponed uh, further um so i feel very fortunate that i could serve to plan and execute this uh, summer school with my organizing team and my advisory team members uh, i thank my colleagues from iit mandi and other institutes uh, in india and abroad who have supported us in this special endeavor uh, on this uh, auspicious uh, inaugural uh, opening session we have we are very fortunate to have two academic stalwarts professor lakshmida behra and professor ajit kumar chaturvedi who have contributed immensely to technological research development and teaching and have been serving with their tireless inspirational and enabling leadership um professor lakshmida behra joined as the director of iit mandi on 19th january 2022 prior to this he was working as the punam and prabhu goel chair professor in the department of electrical engineering iit kanpur and simultaneously served as tcs affiliate faculty after completing bsc and msc engineering from nit raurkela in 1988 and 1990 respectively he received the phd degree from iit delhi uh, in 1997 During the past 26 years of research and teaching career, Professor Lakshmi Dar Behra has contributed significantly to the areas such as intelligent systems and control, vision-based robotics, warehouse automation, brain-computer interface, and drone-based pipeline inspection system. He has established industrial collaborations with TCS, Renault uh, Nissan, and AD NOC Abu Dhabi. uh bell uh, bangalore while making significant technological developments in the areas such as robotics based warehouse automation vision and drone guided driver assistance system and drone guided pipeline inspection system professor behra has worked as a reader at the university of ulster uk during 20, uh, 2007 2009 and has taken up visiting professor assignments at at eth zurich and uh, fhg germany professor behra has supervised 22 phd students to completion he has published three graduate level textbooks 110 uh, peer reviewed journal papers 208 papers in conference proceedings and 17 book chapters i must add here that IIT Mandi is very fortunate to have the inspirational and enabling leadership of Professor Lakshmi Dar Behra, who has been on the mission of wholesome development of IIT Mandi. Without his guidance and support, this event would not have been possible. Now I request Professor Behra to address the participants. Sir, thank you, Dr. Satyajit Thakur, and I welcome. all the participants to this summer school uh, by jtg ieee information theory society um, 
there's a festival of learning and networking with other researchers in the field uh, there is an overwhelming response <clears throat> uh, and participation for this summer school and uh, this is what i was told by satyajit uh, this reflects its high quality we have uh, registrants from 16 iits uh, iisc bangalore tifr to triple it's uh, to nits and many eminent universities from other countries like australia china hong kong iran israel netherlands singapore taiwan and some of the universities from united states as well besides uh, the registr registrants are from many known and established companies industries so i really congratulate satyajit and his team for working very hard and organizing this unique and important global event and for uh, although this is a virtual event uh, i would like to tell all the participants uh, to find time to visit uh, iit mandi physically and hopefully satyajit would organize something where all of you can come in person to this beautiful picturesque uh, campus uh, situated in the himalayan lab uh, uh, I am very happy that with me, Professor Ajit Chaturvedi, Director of IIT Roorkee, uh, is here in this inaugural event. He is the one of the stalwart in this particular field. So I am very happy that he is present and he will address all of you as well. Um, uh, I find that uh, there are many uh, 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 wonderful uh, stalwart uh, experts and speakers who would grace this uh, summer school. Professor David Say will focus on the Bitcoin protocol. Professor Raymond uh, will focus on foundational concepts uh, in information theory. Professor Elin Yenar will focus on wireless communication. And uh, so I welcome all the speakers, including Professor David Say, uh, Professor Raymond Young, Professor Elin, uh, Professor Lalita, uh, Professor uh, Sarayu Maharir, and Dr. Mayank Bakshi, uh, Professor Rahul Singh, Lasmi Prashad Natarajan, um, many dignitaries from Qualcomm and Sankhya Labs, and uh, students from these labs, these universities presenting their posters. Uh, just to give you a little idea, IIT Mandi was established in 2009. Uh, um, uh, this is a second generation IIT and uh, uh, this campus uh, is uh, situated along the bank of Ul River uh, and that uh, at some uh, after 15 kilometer merges with the very famous Bias River and uh, the the ambience uh, is uh, very uh, surreal and spiritual uh, to say the least and uh, once you are in the campus uh, you get and you get hooked onto uh, contemplation and introspection and those are the ingredients necessary for intellectual creativity um, at iit mandi we have already established three centers um, uh, advanced material research center uh, bioex center uh, the clean room uh, for semiconductor research and uh, uh, you know uh, and uh, we are uh, establishing many other centers now one of them is uh, sustainable development having three uh, verticals bioenergy bio uh, medicine and uh, climate controlled agriculture including the livelihood generation for the local farmers here we are also setting up a center for AI and robotics where we are giving special emphasis to drone technology. Uh, Indian knowledge system and mental health uh, is another center that is coming up at IIT Mandi. Uh, so we are basically uh, creating interdisciplinary centers where uh, faculty from uh, multiple branches or multiple schools, including the collaborators from inside India and outside. Uh, they come together and work together. So this is how we are uh, uh, looking at the future of IIT Mandi. 
uh, with uh, 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 with a knack on innovation uh, that we would like to work on topics or areas that will have social impact and uh, would help uh, the nation to grow further. So IIT Mandi is also committed to international collaboration and hosting researchers, academics from all specialization for fruitful collaboration for the advancement of technology and betterment of society. Um, we have uh, uh, many MOUs with varieties of academic institution and we are in a process to get connected to the researchers all around. So kindly visit IIT Mandi. Uh, whenever you visit India, please let us know. We will host you. Our team will reach out and uh, help you to reach IIT Mandi. Again, I welcome all the participants and wish them all the best on the journey of this wonderful four-day uh, summer school and hope it will be a great learning experience for all of you. So again, I thank Professor Chaturvedi for being gracing this occasion and Satyajit Thakur and his team for uh, leading this uh, event and all the uh, researchers who have agreed to deliver their talk and sharing their experience with all the participants. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir, for the warm welcome and inspiring speech uh, for our audience. Uh, our other guest of honor is uh, Professor Ajit Kumar Chaturvedi. Uh, since the beginning, Professor Chaturvedi has been guiding and supporting the planning of this summer school. He has had an association with JTG since its inception, and he is a stalwart of the communications field and a very important guiding member, not only to this, for this summer school, but also for numerous important events and organizations in India and abroad. Um, Professor Ajit Kumar Chaturvedi received the B.Tech, M.Tech and Ph.D. degrees in electrical engineering from IIT Kanpur in 1986, 1988 and 1995 respectively. He served uh, the Department of Electrical uh, Electronics Engineering at IIT BHU Varanasi from 94 to 96. Subsequently, he joined the faculty of the Department of Electronics and Computer Science, Computer Engineering at IIT Roorkee. In 1999, he moved to IIT Kanpur, where he also held the positions of head. Uh, held the position of head of Department of Electrical Engineering, Dean of Research and Development, and Deputy Director. He is now the Director of IIT Roorkee. Professor Chaturvedi was the coordinator of the BSNL IIT Kanpur Telecom Center of the Excellence, uh, which was done a large num number of which has done large number of projects for Indian telecom sectors. Uh, he is a recipient of the INSA Teaching Teachers Award, the Distinguished Teachers Award from IIT Kanpur, and Tanjin Tuan Fellowship of Nanyang Technological University, Singapore. He is a founding member of the Telecom Standards Development Society of India, TCDSI. Professor Chaturvedi was a member of the DOT committee, which recommended criteria for spectrum allocation to telecom operators in 2008. His research interests are in communication theory and wireless communications. I now <coughs> Chaturvedi to address the participants. So. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Satyajit and uh, Professor Behra for uh, inviting me to this inaugural session and giving me an opportunity to share my thoughts. Uh, although today is not the best convenient day for me, I was uh, traveling, but uh, JTG is something that is uh, very close to the heart of uh, several people who work in the area of communications and who live in India. It is something that we have seen over the last uh, two and a half decades, uh, which has grown from a small seed uh, which was uh, planted in the mid 90s and uh, growing as a very strong tradition across IIT and IST 
to nurture research in the area of communication, signal processing, and information theory. Uh, when it was born, the idea was to primarily conduct a national conference on communication every year. But then very soon it was realized that if we want to spread the knowledge of communication to different corners of the country, uh, we should also have a, a short term course every year. So in the mid 90s, uh, this tradition was started that every year at least one or two short term courses, week long courses will be held in which we invite students and faculty members from all parts of the country to attend. Gradually, after a period of time, it was realized that now the tradition of research and communication is gaining to foothold. So the focus shifted from short-term courses to nurturing the research scholars in the area of communication. And when you have to nurture the research scholars or inspire them, there is no better way than to conduct a summer school or a winter school. Because such schools give a platform by which they are able to invite the leading international researchers to talk about their research area, to talk about their inspirational journey. And hopefully, by hearing them, not only young research scholars, but also senior professionals also get excited by hearing firsthand from people who whose papers are well cited or whose textbooks are widely read. And that is how about 15 years back this tradition of summer school started. So the short courses got transformed into summer schools. And initially, if I recall correctly, a couple of IITs took the lead in this regard. And I'm very happy, in fact, delighted to see that IIT Mandi has taken the lead in 2020. This is again a path breaking move because summer schools were traditionally in the older IITs and even in the older IITs, not across all the IITs or ISC. But now that IIT Mandi, thanks to the effort of uh, Dr. Satyajit Thakur, uh, he has brought the summer school to the, uh, to the newer IITs. <coughs> was something that was a huge challenge for him. I remember vividly uh, last two years when he used to interact with him to get this sorted out, how to get moving. I must appreciate that he persisted with the organization despite COVID, uh, despite the fact that it was uh, moving to a new campus where there was not a large team uh, to support him. But he spread out to all the people in different IITs and whatever we could do in our individual capacities, we naturally help them. The technical program that has been stitched under the leadership of the general chair, Dr. Satyajit is very impressive. In fact, it is covering three distinct areas, uh, not only in Bitcoin and blockchains, not only in information theory, network coding, but also going towards selected topics in 6G. So that means that there is lots and lots of material for the people who want to do research, who want to uh, identify or look for good problems. They can look either in 6G or in terms of information theory or in terms of Bitcoins. And uh, these are all very uh, relevant areas. And the fact that um, stalwarts like Professor David Shea has agreed to talk about Bitcoin and blockchains, uh, Professor Raymond, Young has to agreed to talk about information theory and network coding. And both of them are uh, winners of the Shannon Award. So the Shannon Award is if they are speaking, that takes the stature of the summer school really to the highest possible level. The only thing that I can say is missing from this summer school and which is beyond the control of all of us is that it is not happening physically. If such a summer school would have happened physically, the kind of impact it would have created would be phenomenal uh, because the setting of IIT Mandi and at the same time by speakers like as uh, speakers who so many people want to listen to Professor David Say, Professor uh, Raymond Young, Professor Eileen Yenar. These are all people who for a lot of people read their papers, read their textbooks and want to uh, 
talk to them, want to interact with them, want to learn from them. But that was naturally not in the control of uh, IT Mundi team. Uh, that uh, it could not happen in in person. But thank God that it is finally happening, and it is happening with a big bang. Uh, in fact, uh, the looking at the technical program, it is very salivating for many of us that we could spend time and uh, listen to these talks. Uh, I hope that our community in India will make the best use of it, not only in India but also uh, across many other countries. It was very heartening to see that uh, Dr. Mayank Bakshi and Dr. Rahul Singh, both of whom who have studied communications at IIT Kanpur, uh, giving talks at the summer school. And they will be giving the research flavor. Uh, last but not the least, there are also industry presentation poster sessions. So that summer school is expanding to become more like a mini conference. Of course, there are no uh, research uh, presentations in the traditional sense of a conference. But the platform is very rich. Uh, it is very diverse, covering all the possible frontier areas. And the attendance participation has been overwhelming. It is not a surprise that so many people have registered for it. I wish that this platform, AirMeet platform, uh, provides the opportunity for people to have one-to-one -one interactions and also listen to the talks and also the ability to raise uh, questions in these plenary talks. That I would say that organizing team should pay special attention so that uh, there is a two-way dialogue uh, which normally happens in uh, summer schools. If if that two-way dialogue can happen, then all the effort, Satyajit, that you have put in for the last two years, that effort would, would lead to fruition, lead to completion. With these words, I would wish all, all the best. And um, I hope that the kind of standard that the summer school has uh, put uh, has put in place similar standards will follow in the future. And uh, long live the JTG effort, uh, long live the founding fathers of JTG who put in, who planted a small seed and now it has become a very regular annual feature. Uh, thank you to the, all the team for carrying this forward. I wish the summer school all the best. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Professor Chaturvedi. Uh, it was such a nice, uh, um, uh, uh, inspirational address and uh, it was delight to hear you and uh, thanks uh, i again thank professor behra and professor chaturvedi who despite their very busy schedule have joined for this auspicious occasion and inspired uh, everybody here uh, thank you again uh, and uh, uh, this uh, ends our uh, inauguration uh, opening session and then uh, we will take a short break and then we'll start our next session at 8.50. So as I said, uh, so there were a few things that um, our next speaker, Professor David Say, uh, has suggested. And uh, uh, based on the, his suggestions, uh, we will be having uh, uh, that session, uh, sessions by Professor David Say on Zoom. So that's the best uh, suitable um, settings. Uh, and for him and then uh, I'll see you there. I'll send, I'll email you the Zoom link as well as I'll put uh, here on uh, AirMeet as well. So thanks again, um, uh, Professor uh, Behra sir and Professor Chaturvedi sir. Uh, and uh, thanks a lot, yeah. Thank you, thank you Satyajit. Thank you, Professor Chaturvedi.